guys, welcome to my chest stand tutorial. This is a beautiful move that's really versatile. You can do a lot of different variations with it and you can add things to it to make it really useful for any routine. We're going to start this one from your knee hook hocks position on the top bar. If you would like a nice, easy, but pretty way to get up to this position, I did a tutorial for that. Uh, and it should be at the top of your screen right now, I hope. Take your head and shoulders back through the hoop to the back side of the hoop so that the entire hoop is in front of you. Now reach your hands back through the inside of the hoop and place your hands as high as possible on the sides of the hoop with straight elbows and your palms facing back towards your body. Taking your weight into your arms, you're going to unhook each leg one at a time and place your heel as close to the span set as possible on the top of the hoop. The hoop should be right on your Achilles tendon just above your heel bone. Now arch your back as much as you can so that your chest comes a little bit more towards facing the floor and a little bit of your weight will go onto your chest. When you feel comfortable, pick a leg to take off the top of the hoop Place it in front of you and then thread it through the hoop so that it comes around behind you with your foot pointing towards the ground. Remember to stay nice and engaged with your glute and hamstring of the leg that's still on the top of the hoop. Think about pulling your heel towards the ground and into the hoop because that pressure is going to really help you out. If you want, you can straighten both your legs to show off a nice pretty split position here. The heel on the top of the hoop will keep you hooked on with that leg and your other leg straightens and pulls towards the ground. To come out of it, thread your free leg back through the inside of the hoop to the front, then re-hook your knee on the top. Now you can take off your heel and re-hook that leg as well and bring your head and your shoulders back through the inside of the hoop the same way that it came till you're back in your standard hawk's knee hook position. I'm gonna give you two different options on how to get down from this top bar position. The first one is not really a drop, but it can look like a drop if you learn how to do it quickly and surprise your audience with it. You're just going to leave the hoop in front of you like we did for our chest stand, and you're going to put your arms back through the inside and take the sides of the hoops. Then you're going to unhook your legs and let your hips fall to the bottom bar, landing on your hip crease, right between where your thigh and your pelvis meet. The second option is to do the same split that we did in the how to get to the top bar easily video that I have on my channel. So it may look a little familiar. You just place one hand between your knees, the other hand on the outside of your knees, and do a big circle all the way around the hoop like a hand on a clock face until you have one leg pointing down and one leg pointing up. Then straighten your knees and you're in a nice big split position. To come out of that, just slide down your top leg and let it fall to the bottom of the hoop where it will naturally hook around the bottom of the hoop and your back end. Here's an advanced variation for when you feel really comfortable in your chest stand. Go through exactly as we did before until the point where you have one leg off with your toe facing the ground behind you and one heel hooked on the top of the hoop in your standard chest stand position. Now pull down as hard as possible with your hands and try to bring your hips right up above your head so they're exactly in the middle of the hoop. Now you should be able to lift up your top heel and have both legs off and do a nice split freestanding in the middle of the hoop. This is just a matter of balance, so just keep playing with it until you find your perfect balancing place. Expect also, the first few times you do it, for the hoop to wobble side to side a little bit. Pro tip, don't forget to breathe in this one. For some reason, I always want to hold my breath in this position, and if you do too, don't forget to inhale occasionally. It's really going to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something fun. And please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials that are there, as well as performance videos, makeup videos, and a couple of special projects that are coming out for Halloween. I try to do new videos every Wednesday and Friday, so check it out.